there are a few things that are super important for growth and vitality within a couple relationship and quality time is one of them. Quality time is sometimes difficult to obtain even though it's something that many couples want to have in their relationship. Today we're going to talk to you about quality time and how to get it as a couple. We are Dr. David and Teresa Mabry from One Another Marriage. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming along this time. If it's your first time with us, um, welcome. And please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. There are five things that we want to talk about today that help, will help you with your quality time within your most important relationship. And the first thing that we would suggest is it seems pretty simple, but set a time and a place. Set a time and a right. place. A lot of things that happen in life, we set times and places for, but oftentimes quality time with the most significant person in our life gets pushed out because of a job and kids mm -hmm. and activities and mm -hmm. all kinds of other things get in the way, and it's oftentimes the thing that gets pushed out the most. So set a time and a place. Have that regular date night or date time together. Right. You have to plan, you have to plan, mm -hmm. right? Yep. The second tip that we would say is you want to be regular and consistent with having this quality time. Right. Now, once again, that goes back to having a discussion as a couple as to what does regular mean? Is that um, every day that you wanna have mm -hmm. quality time together? Is it having a weekly uh, quality time event, date night or whatever, every other week, once a month? What What is it that you, deem as quality time and that you want to have together. Once you're on the same page with how often, mm -hmm. then it's easier to set those plans and time, which was tip number one, right, yep. um, to do that. But stick with it, be consistent. It will pay huge dividends right. in your relationship. And we've, we've been married since 1993, mm -hmm. and over that time period, we've had different quality time yeah. set Exactly. dates and time. So sometimes it's been daily mm -hmm. and sometimes it's been weekly and sometimes it's been more than weekly apart because of just kind of where we were in life. Right. But we tried to be as consistent as possible. Yes. Right. That leads to the third item. The third thing for your quality time mm -hmm. would be to choose events, activities, things that you do that both of you are interested in. Right. Find hobbies, and sometimes it could be just as fun brainstorming those items, even if you sit down on your first kind of date and say, right. hey, let's brainstorm all the things that we want to do in our quality time. And then you actually come up with a list and then pick off that whole list, say, let's do this, this, and this one, and then set a schedule for it. Go back yeah. to one and two that we suggested, but do activities that both of you have interest in that will capture both of your attention or explore things that you think both of you would be interested in. Right. Which leads us into our tip number four. So this one, periodically, choose something that only one of you may prefer. Mm -hmm. So this quality mm -hmm. time activity may be the real preference of just one in the relationship. However, this means that the other person is coming along to intentionally take yep. interest in that choice activity. Okay? Yes. So while, while we want you to find things that you enjoy doing together, it is important to have separate interests as well. Mm -hmm. So David has some interests that I don't necessarily have. I have some that he doesn't necessarily have. Mm -hmm. And every now and then, one of us is like, you know what I would really like to do? And we share what that interest might be, knowing that the other one is being asked to come along to just enjoy it for the mere sake of enjoying right. spending time with your spouse. It means balancing that interest and like saying, okay, I'll go along with you on this one and because it's spending time with you even though I I may not enjoy it I'm not I'm going to choose not to complain because right. that could ruin the time. Yes. But also it means that sometimes it needs to go back and forth so it needs to be reciprocated right. back and forth, right? So it's right. not just all the interest hogged up by all one the, person, right. right? Exactly. Yeah, you've got to be able to communicate about that because you don't want the, you don't want one person to just feel like they're always the one mm -hmm. sacrificing. They never get to choose what the quality time activity yep. is, right? Yep. So, and while you may struggle even with number three, like David said, about choosing something that you enjoy, um, there's so much out there for you to choose from. I mean, so oh, many yeah. different interests and activities, and you really need to just, like, like he said, brainstorm, have a list, 
and then as well as mm -hmm. have those opportunities and times where one of you is choosing the preference of the activity. That's right, that's right. Hey, number five is be aware of your hits. <laughs> be aware of your hits. H-I-T-S stands for be aware when you're hungry, irritable, tired, or stressed because those items right there can ruin quality time. Mm -hmm. So the first step with knowing your hits would be uh, know yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you are coming into quality time that you have set and that you're planning on and you know that you're a little going sideways with hits, right. then get something to eat, get your rest, think about what's making you irritable, decompress from the stress. If your partner is walking through any, any of those, Give them permission to be going through that and ask how you could be helpful. Give grace because it may not be the right timing with the scheduled uh, event that you have. Mm -hmm. It may be that, you know what, maybe we should postpone this or maybe we should just delay it by a half hour. Right. Or, or maybe, hey, if, you're, if a walk was what your quality time was, maybe hunger is calling for you need to go get something to eat instead. So be flexible with one another, but be aware of hits and how hits impacts quality time with one another. Right. So those are our five tips on how to have better quality time together. And we recognize that it is not always mm -hmm. easy to set aside the time to do this. But tr yep. us, trust us in that long-lasting, healthy couples find ways to have quality time together. And it is so important to your relationship, and you need to make it a priority. That's right. If this has been beneficial to you today, we encourage you to reach out to uh, us. We work with couples on a regular basis, and we'd love to uh, help you in your relationship. You can watch some of our other videos, catch us on other social media, but also reach out to us directly. We coach couples, whether in our local area or via Zoom. So we encourage you to reach out to us. So until next time, thanks for joining us.